What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Continuation of the Final Fantasy X Drunk Review. I have Fireball and Orange Fago. Ooh. Spicy. Where did we leave off? Oh yeah, getting on the boat to Kilika. So after Yuna says goodbye to her homeland, you get on a boat with the crew, Gucci Gang. And you are now traveling to Kilika to pray for victory at the temple for your Blitzball tournament, of course, why else? Not because you're fighting, you know, Genghis Khan, but because you need to win your water polo sport. Please let me win. Fuck the whale. Please let me win. Meanwhile... <laughs> he tearing that shit up? So you get on the boat and you have hearts to hearts with everybody. You hear Lulu and Waka talking shit behind your back. You got Yuna staring off into the distance. Then you talk to Yuna. She just, you guys are weird, okay? That's that's it. You Y'all are weird. <sighs> then you have the option to try to do a jet shot because you know, tight ass has daddy issues. So then night falls and you're sleeping. And then you wake up to Sin attacking Kilika. And they're like, oh no, we must stop them. Our families are in Kilika. So what do they think to do? This whale, the size of a mountain, rushing towards a whole village underwater, put a harpoon in it. But not just any harpoon. One made out of rope attached to a wooden boat. Because that's a good idea. So they do that, and then you fight Sin a little bit. He eventually, to their surprise, rips the harpoons off the boat, and they're like, oh my god, how'd he do that? So when you arrive in Kilika, you're shocked to find everybody dead. Well, not everybody, but a lot of people are dead. And now this is the one thing I will say. Let me put this down. This is the most gorgeous scene in the entire game. I could only show a snippet because of copyright, but oh, it's so pretty. So basically you learn that when people die, a summoner either has to send them or they become a fiend. So she's literally sending them off to the far plane where they may rest in peace. So when that's done, your team for the blitz balls are helping rebuild the village. You're wandering around like an idiot. And then you go to the temple. You know the group of gays in your high school who thought they ran shit? That's who these people are. Here to pray for victory too. Us pray? Who needs to pray? The Luka goers always win. Tell me I'm wrong. You run into them, they bully you a little bit. The Luka goers are a bunch of bitches. And then you go pray at the temple and you get Ifrit, your second Aeon. He's kinda cool. And then when you're done with that, you get back on the boat to go to Luca to play in the tournament. When you get there, there's a special announcement that Maester Seymour, ooh, wow, I, that Maester Seymour Guado is there, and he's important. This dude looks like one of those troll dolls that you got too much hair gel in. I can't take him seriously the entire video game. I'm just like, wow, he's nasty. So after all that's over, Yuna gets kidnapped. I swear to God, this bitch gets kidnapped more than Kyrie does in Kingdom Hearts. Like, wow. So after you find her, you rescue her. Oh, but before that, someone saw Orin in a cafe. Remember the badass dude from the beginning? Yeah, he's surprisingly here for some reason. So you're running around trying to find him. He's somewhere in the village. Have you seen Orin? Who the fuck is you? He's somewhere. He's somewhere. But in the meantime of trying to find him, Yuna gets kidnapped by the Elbed team. So you find her, you find her. Walk is getting his ass beat in Blitzball, so then you have to go take his place. Now, I'm gonna tell you the thing about Blitzball. Unless you are really good and you've played this game before, you're not gonna fucking win. And if you do, be my friend. Because I never did. Every time I played this game so many times, and every time I play Blitzball, I never fucking win. So after all that, you go onto the Meehan High Road, 
and <coughs> all their chocobos are being eaten. So after you kill him and you make your way down the Meehan High Road, you're stuck at a blockade. They're not even letting summoners through. Donna's bitch ass won't even get through there. Oh, did we talk about Donna? No, we did not talk about Donna. Donna is this other bitch ass summoner that you meet in Kilika. Okay, she is the sassiest motherfucker, and her boy toy squeeze Bartello doesn't say much. Yes, but we're not going to Zanakend. We don't like them, they're garbage. There's this thing going on called Operation Meehan where they're gonna try to kill Sin because, you know, the harpoon failed. Let's try nuclear war instead. So you can't get past Meehan Hyro because it's all blocked off and then Seymour comes to the rescue. He basically says some shit to the garden and they let you through. So when you go, you find out that they are using forbidden machina, which is like their term for like nuclear weaponry, kind of. Basically, the whole reason Sin came from what they believe is that Spira, the world they live in, broke out in Machina War and Sin came to basically punish them all for using forbidden machinery such as this. So your idea, use the forbidden tools, which is why Sin appeared in the first place to try to kill Sin. You've got initiative, I'll give you that. That shit don't make no sense. So, lo and behold, it doesn't work. You join them in Operation Meehan, and it killed a lot of people. And I mean, a lot of people died. Because of your stupidity. So basically, Sin whoops your ass. Like, kills your ass, right? Titus wakes up on the shore after learning that Sin is actually his daddy. Oh, surprise, surprise, Sin is jicked. I was surprised when I first played it, but I was also like 12 when I played it for the first time. I was shooketh. So he basically wakes up all pissed off at Sin, and his brilliant idea is to get into the water where Sin just was, and chase him. This boy's got a death wish, I swear to God. So that after they all regroup, they travel to Jose to get another Aeon, and there they meet Isaru. Isaru is another summoner, and I think they're the only summoners that you meet in this game is Yuna, Donna, and Isaru. There's other summoners, but <laughs> they're not alive. He's actually a lot more nicer than Donna, but you can tell he's a little sneaky. So after you meet him, you get Ixan, your third Aeon. And now you travel to Mushroom Rock Road to ride one of these creatures. This is called a shoe puff. It's an elephant. You hear a story from Orin that, um, Jekt got really drunk. Can't relate. Thought the shoe puff was a fiend and attacked it with his sword. So they get on the shoe puff and Yuna's ass gets kidnapped again. Literally right out of the water. So after you dive into the water to save her from this huge ass machine, you blow it up. You learn about the Machina War thousands of years ago. It destroyed Xanarkin, blah de yada yada. And he's like, wow, wait a minute. If Xanarkin was destroyed, how am I here? Yeah, they never really explained that to you until the very fucking end. So after you save Yuna, the shoe pup gets across the moon flow. And when you're walking around the path, you find this knocked out girl. Before I show you this, disclaimer, she is 15. Don't be nasty. Well, you found Riku again. Yuna takes her aside and she's like, hey, yo, look, you look familiar. You look, you're my cousin. Which they actually are cousins. Yuna and Riku, cousins. Remember, Waka hates the Albed. Riku is Albed. Yuna is half Albed. He still don't know. So after you get Riku, you travel to Guado Salam because Maester Seymour wants to see you. Ooh, you're in trouble. Well, okay guys, that's it for today's video. Make sure you like and subscribe and comment down below what your favorite part of this video game was. Also, tell me if you enjoy these drunk reviews of me getting a little plastered and talking about video games with you guys. I'm very warm. Make sure you follow my social media links down below and I try to, you know, interact with you guys as much as I can. Link down your PSN, let's play some games. And part three will be coming soon. See you guys later. Bye.